Hey, in case you haven't seen it yet, I've got two videos out today. I posted my how to make maker videos video and I think you're gonna really like it. I'll put a link down in the description or maybe up here somewhere. I'm never sure if it's here or here when I'm looking at the camera, but it's somewhere around in there. But check out that video and then, and then come back to this little rinky-dink operation. I wanna show you my thought process here and what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so this right here, I've marked out where the leg is gonna go and that's that notch that I've already cut out down there. So when this comes down, I need a resting spot. This will all set down here. I need a, a spot for that to rest. So I need to make a notch in here. I put this washer here so I know, because I'm also gonna put a bolt or a screw through there. I wanna know how close I'm getting to that. So what I'm concerned with is when this is in its resting position, this bolt has to go all the way down to right here. So that means I gotta make this notch like this whole area here, which just leaves this little thin area right there. And that's gonna be okay once I have this leg in there, but I'm wondering if I should attach the leg first and then cut the notch. I guess I might as well. I don't think it'll be that much more difficult to cut a dado with the legs on. You know what I think I'll do? I'll just save that particular notch for the last one. I'll go ahead and mark out where I want the rest of these to go. So, as this raises up, I want my first incline to be pretty shallow. You know, I don't think it really matters exactly what that angle is. So, you know, maybe about there would be a good spot for one. And then I'll raise it up to about to there. And then this one here would be almost vertical. So that'll give me my five position bench. The first position will be completely flat. And then two, three, four, five. These are the feet that the legs are gonna fit down into. And this one is okay. I cut this notch out second, but I screwed this one up. And the problem was is that these aren't exactly square. The way I cut them, there's actually a direction to them. So this way works out good, but this way it's, uh, it's too small. And so I originally started cutting it this way. I did a test that way and then I realized, oh wait, that's gonna hang over a little bit. So I didn't want that. So I just made the one notch there. So then I started cutting it the right way over here so that it will fit together. Let's see, this way. But the problem with that is, is I cut it too big. So what I'm trying to do now is try to fix two problems. One, I want to make this gap, fill in that gap, and then I need to fill in these two short gaps. So what I did was I just cut a strip of wood and I'll just glue this down into there. I mean, I could just leave it there, but I'm just going to be a little persnickety about this and fill it in. So all I want to do now is just close up this gap a little bit. So I'll just glue this onto there. Okay, I'll let that dry. Now I can get back to cutting the notches in this piece. All of them except that last one. I guess the way to do this is just test it on the first one. I'll cut it sort of shallow and then put it together and see how it drops down in there. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fun. Okay, so all I need to do is just cut the rest of those notches.
So here's how that repair job turned out. And of course this is gonna be painted so you won't see any of these seams. All right, now I can go ahead and put these legs in place before I cut that last notch. So what I wanna do is secure that with a lag screw and I need to counter bore it also. Probably should have done this before I put the legs in. I could have done this on the drill press. What are you gonna do? Here's a weird one. I don't have a socket big enough for that head, so I had to use this old ratchet kind, you know, for like working on cars. This is one of those tools that I, I probably use once a year at best. Okay, so I can do this test one more time. And these notches all work out great. I accidentally cut this one deep when I was thinking it was this one. So that one just has a little bit of extra character to it. But this is the important one here that's deeper so that the whole thing, so when it's attached, will be flat. Now I need to make this top curved so that it doesn't interfere with the seat. Okay, now I can attach the feet. You guys watching anything on TV, any series? If you need some recommendations, I've got a few. I would say The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is a really funny show on Netflix or Prime, one of them, I don't know. And Ozark is really good. We're just now getting through the most recent season. I think we have a couple more episodes of that left. That's really good, if, especially if you like Breaking Bad. It's pretty similar. Oh, also Chance. Chance was really good. That's not on anymore. And Mindhunter. Mindhunter was excellent and it got canceled. There was two seasons of Mindhunter. I can't believe they canceled it. Oh, and American Gods. It's on Stars, I think. It's based on the Neil Gaiman novel, which I love. And of course, Better Call Saul, but we already discussed that the other day. If you ever need to draw things together that are really tight, like these joints, pipe clamps are your best solution. These things can generate an enormous amount of torque. Oh, but my favorite, absolute favorite, hilarious comedy was Santa Clarita Diet. And it's another one that got canceled. One of the best shows on and it got canceled. But I think all of those are still available on Netflix. Oh, all right, I guess I'll put some lag screws in these too. <laughs> I don't think they really need them. That's what they call belts and suspenders. Don't confuse belt and suspenders with shotgun and cornflakes. I remember one time when I was a kid, I learned the hard way. Only one time I had to have this lesson about when you blow into like a hole or something to clear out sawdust is to close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it went right in my eye. That was one time that happened and I've always been careful about that ever since. What other woodworking do you get to have discussion about blowing into holes? <laughs> what day is this? 15, 16? I've lost track. <laughs> <sighs> Dictionary stand's really getting in the way. I have the right size lag screws this time. They're just like quarter inch so I can use my driver. Another random thought. I think it's really cool that people in Great Britain and Australia have the word mate. That they can call everybody mate. Good day, mate. Hello, mate. Good job there, mate. We don't have anything like that in America. We, I mean, there's like dude, but that's that's too like bro culture. Even bro doesn't sound right. Brother, I don't like that. 
We don't have anything like, like mate. So look at this. Remember that twist that I had in here and I was like, eh, don't worry about it. It'll go away when I assemble the thing. <laughs> Could be a little bit of this table isn't flat. I don't know, I'll have to test it out. But I think I can fix it. How, you might ask? Good question, mate. I think that, well, I have these little, these little circles. They're like anti-skid things that go down here. And I think I can just basically shim one of those up. Shim it. You can't go wrong with a shim. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I think before I go home for the day, I'll assemble this thing, assemble it proper with all of the nuts and bolts in place and just kind of give it a dry run. Tomorrow I'll cut out the plywood seat in the back. That should go pretty easily. Look at that. I didn't even realize this was about the same length as, as the leg. Amazing. Okay, where's that? Where did you go, you plastic washer? It's all right. I got another one. The thing about these I, I don't like is how thick they are. That's like a good, I don't know, it's thick. Oh, I know where that washer is. I already put it in there. Yeah. Okay, so let me take this out. Get away, you plastic washer thing. Okay, this one's gonna go in here. Then, plastic washer, watch out, fancy. Then, this all goes like that. Then, this, do the same thing. Plastic washer, steel washer, and then the lock nut. Do you like how yesterday I said lock washer when I met lock nut? It's weird how I can say things like that and then I don't even know it until I, I'm like reviewing the video. I'm like, well that was dumb. So then I have to put a little notation under there so people don't fill up the comments with, that wasn't a nut, that wasn't a washer, that was a nut. Did you know that would happen? This just comes from years of experience of making YouTube videos. All right. So I think I'll put a nylon washer on this one too. Remember, this is only a test. So the thing about these lock nuts is that you can tighten them to however loose you want the thing to be. So I, I can cinch it down and it's not much place. So I want to back it off just a little bit so that it moves a little bit easier. So then what I'll do is on this side, because I don't want these pieces to come binding in towards each other, I'm gonna use a lock washer. Uh, see, this time I said it right. Lock washer in there. And then a regular nut just to tighten the threaded rod down. Oh, that's a lot of threads to go through. I probably should have put this on from the other side, huh? I guess I didn't think that through. How am I gonna? Do you think I should just force it? That's not a good idea. Okay, now I'll put lock washer, regular nut. No, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> I put the regular nut. Oh, I see what's happening there. 
that nut is going to stop this board. This one's barely clears it. That one's no good. So that means I got to shave a little bit off of this board. Okay, you know what I'll do is just for this test, I'll remove this nut and see how it all works. Well, I think I was able to gather a lot of information from that test. There's just a few things I need to tweak and this is all kind of some fiddly little bits at this point just to make sure that it's working to working okay. But I think it will. So tomorrow all I need to do is cut out the plywood pieces for the seat and for the back and I should be in business. See you guys tomorrow.